Third phase of moon, live, taking your calls from around the world. Something's happening, something's happening big. What it is? Well, some people, like myself, will say it's harp. But other people will say that I don't know what I'm talking about, and hey, maybe you're exactly right. I'm not sure. All I know is we don't know. And that's why uh, I think that's what Third Phase of Moon is all about. We invite everybody to leave your comments below on what you think is going on in this video. Captured by Quaid, he's going to be joining us right here at Third Phase Moon. He's standing by. We're going to get some questions into him. He captured this um, this month, the 12th, 2015. And, um, you know, the world's been kind of shook up ever since. This is uh, something quite incredible, qu quite amazing. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. There's similar videos out there uh, that's been posted in accordance to strange phenomenon, but nothing, nothing like this. And then I get a contact from somebody saying there's, there's a similar video captured 187 miles away from their original source captured by Quaid over there in Indianapolis. But then 170 miles away at the exact same time, Chris Mercer captured the same event. Now this collaborates that this did go down. This isn't no trick, this isn't no CGI, this is real people, people gotta wake up. Something's happening. A couple days before that, before this, uh, within the same day, I think it was happening the same day, we got that video from Switzerland. And it's quite amazing uh, effects going on in the sky, not exactly sure what it is. Hey, it could be extraterrestrial, definitely. In uh, Quaid's video, you could almost see what looks to be a two disc shaped object possibly harnessing energy. So maybe it isn't HARP, maybe it's extraterrestrial involvement. We want people's opinions on what it is. Definitely people call in 347-934-0378 for this new extended third phase of moon radio tonight. Speaking about Quaid's video, let's see if uh, if Quaid's with us right now. Let's go to Indianapolis. Quaid, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey Quaid, hey, thanks for joining us right here at third phase of moon. Uh, I know the world's been shaken up since since the video has been released, how many vid how many hits on your channel right now? The video it's up like to forty two thousand. But so it's far. just like jump, it's jumping like three to yeah. four thousand within hours. Yeah. The the um, yeah. this video is going viral. I know our third phase moon. I think combined is up to about forty thousand views, and then other people are picking it up around the world, crediting your video. I think uh, we got the word yeah. out pretty fast. And now, uh, now, what's happening? What's happening, Quaid? After the first, uh, you know, couple of days uh, of this release, I know you've had a lot of contacts. What are people saying? Yeah. People yeah, are saying it's, that it's not harp and it's something like maybe UFO or like I don't even know. Like, and then some people say it's something to do with the sunlight and ice crystals and magnetic field, or like a uh, a discharge of some kind of like plasma or something. But it's still kind of un like people still don't know what it is for sure. So absolutely, we send it out to meteorologists, professors around uh, the nation, and only one email has come back. I think they don't even want to comment on exactly or speculate what's going on because this is a kind of something new, something different. Um, yeah. You know, Quaid, what do you think of when? I, I remember our first interview. You said I don't think anybody else really captured this thing, but wow, yeah. just uh, I think twelve hours later. I was showing you the video that Chris Mercer captured the same exact day. How do you feel about that collaboration and pretty, confirming it's pretty cool. this? It was really cool because it was the same day, and it might have been that around the same time, too. So. You know, exactly. I, I And um, people have the idea and the, the awareness to pull their cameras out and shoot this because uh, some of these things are once-in-a-lifetime kind of events. Let's see, maybe we have – I'm not exactly sure. We're going to – Bring in callers, and I'm hoping this is Chris from Illinois. But let's see, 917, you're live, third phase of moon. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Yeah, hi, hon. No, no, this is not Chris. Um, this is Sharon. I'm just listening in. And I think I, are you talking about the video with the red thing that looks like some kind of a, a God, I don't know, like a ship with, uh, it had like cylinders on it and like red fire light. Well, I think what you're talking about is that sighting that happened in Bilde Bilderberg, the meeting in Austria, and that was posted right. a few 
Yeah, absolutely what was going on over there at the Bilderberg meetings and all these multiple UFO sightings. And in Sweden, just in the general, you know, Europe is lighting up with UFO sightings. What is the connection? Hey, we're talking about this new heart video that Quaid captured over there in Indianapolis. And then we have another cooperating video, too. Oh, is from- that that weird, like that tail that was flashing back and forth? Yeah, the bullwhip lightning is what I'm calling it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I wanted to ask you guys, uh, that looked like a ship, that it was coming from a ship that was massed in that cloud, because the cloud didn't look like a normal cloud, you know, that was that it was coming out of. Mm-hmm. It actually looked like the shape of a, sh- a really large ship that was cloaked in a cloud. Did anybody else think that? Absolutely. Well, we got Quaid, the shooter that yes. shot that video. Um, ask him any question you want. He's live right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think, Ken? Um, well, I didn't really know. Like, it just scared me really bad. And so I just pulled my phone just to get it on video and show people. And I'm still, like, like getting comments of what it could be. 